everyone. I am headed to the store as usual. And so, thought I'd bring you along. The 17 year old is babysitting the younger ones. The oldest two are working. Dalton just went to work. Brittany went to clean up friend's house this morning so she's gone and she got hired in Chick-fil-A how about that which way do I want to go guess I'll go down this way I am headed to Aldi and Chibilo and to recap I have spent one week it was 105. This is just food items, people. Just food items. The other week was 115. This week I don't know what it's gonna be, but it's all right. And we'll find out what it'll be. Um, I have already spent this week a few. Dollars. I spent nine dollars and fifty cents at Piggly Wiggly. We had a ladies' meeting at church, and I stopped by there to get um, a little something sweet and some bread. And then they had a bag of cornmeal, a five-pound bag of cornmeal, marked down for a dollar fifty. And they had some buttermilk, a half a gallon of buttermilk marked down for 50 cents or 49 cents, 50 cents. So I spent a dollar, I mean nine dollars and 50 cents at Piggly Wiggly. So I went to Dollar General. If you have a Dollar General in your area, I don't know if you have the same sales as we do in our area, but they have. Um, their Maxwell House coffee for $5.75 for the big can. So I bought two of those. I also bought some dip and chips there. They had the dip marked down, so of course I had to get some chips to go with that. And I think that was all for food items, but that total was $15.75. And we did Bilo. They had last week chicken breast for 99 cents a pound and um, ice cream for four dollars a gallon. I think it was their weekend sale. I think it was. I'm confused now. Anyway, that was twelve dollars. I might not have been for that time. We're going to buy a more than we should, I guess. But, anyway, it was a $12. I round those up, by the way. I rounded that one up. How much, I, how I know how much it is, is I used my debit card that day. So, that's one good thing about using your debit card sometimes is that if you lose your receipt, you can always look on your bank statement, of which we can go online and look at ours. So, <laughs> we have, we're gonna have lots of company this weekend and I am just, I'm so excited. Okay, so we're having some friends and also he's our pastor and family, but they're also friends coming over tomorrow night and then Brittany's boyfriend's coming in from Virginia this weekend so we're so excited about that and then I'm hoping that mama and daddy my parents will come over on Sunday after church to meet Brittany's boyfriend and maybe they'll have um, lunch with us uh, Normally, they wouldn't mind having lunch with us, but my mom, she has problems due to her throat cancer that she had. She still has problems swallowing sometimes, and 
also she's had to have a whole lot of dental work done due to the damage that was done from the radiation. So she's in the process of still having the dental work done. They're not finished, so she has trouble eating. She has gained maybe a pound or two in the past few weeks, which is good. She's forcing herself to drink Insure and stuff, but just pray for her because she really can't afford to lose much weight. Especially, God forbid, the cancer were to come back. She really needs some extra weight on her. She weighs something like, I don't know, between 105 and 110 pounds. So, but anyway, hopefully they'll come Sunday. And, um, <clears throat> so that's going to be great. Something else I have started doing, and that's why I have some past purchases. I used to do our shopping, our shopping week would run from Thursday through Wednesday. Now I have it running literally from Sunday. That must be why I have the Bilo thing. We went on Sunday. <coughs> Excuse me. Sunday through Saturday. So, for some reason, doing it that way is helping keep the budget down lower. I was talking with my pastor's wife and friend about it last night. I don't understand why, but it's helping. So, that's good. And, um, so that's what's going on with that. I was looking for my menu. I'm going to try to remember off the top of my head. Tomorrow night, I think we're going to do Super Southwestern Beef Bake. <clears throat> I plan on making maybe three of those. I might get some foil pans, too, if I can remember. Um, that has ground beef, black beans, corn, salsa, sour cream, tortilla, uh, tortillas in it. I think I made that. And did a video on it. Anyway, I'm thinking, unless I change my mind again, because I've changed my mind 50,000 times on what all to make for this weekend. So, Saturday morning, we have a church visitation, and we'll be eating breakfast at church. And then, for lunch, we might have quesadillas. Don't think Brittany and Mark and Dalton will be with us for lunch. I think they're going maybe to the zoo or something. For Saturday night, I'm thinking maybe spaghetti, unless I change my mind. I sort of had like a lasagna-ish type dish the last time he was here. So, <clears throat> it might be it might be spaghetti unless I change my mind. For Sunday. Breakfast will probably be cereal or some leftover peanut butter squares because I'm going to make some peanut butter squares when Mark is here because he likes peanut butter things. And then um, for lunch on Sunday, I am going to do, unless I change my mind again, vegetable soup, a gigantic pot of vegetable soup. I'm going to make some cornbread. That's when I'm going to use that buttermilk. I'm going to use buttermilk for something else. Of which I can't think of what that is. But cornbread, and then we'll have saltines. So if no one wants the cornbread. And then for Sunday night, we are having Buford stew. That's the shrimp meal. Remember I told you I've been saving up shrimp here and there. We're going to do that after church on Sunday. That'll be fun. And then Monday, I'll make like a farmer's bread breakfast. I'll do some fried potatoes and fried eggs and bacon or sausage. Toast. Probably not biscuits. And then for lunch on Monday, we'll probably have leftovers from all of the stuff we had throughout the weekend. We'll just have a buffet for lunch. I'm not so sure about Monday night. We might have leftovers again, depending on how much there is. And then Mark will be going back home on Monday. So that'll be all of our 
company. Gotta be sad. So, um, I'm thinking on Tuesday, well actually Monday I'll probably go out because they're having an extended three day sale or four day sale at Bilo on some stuff. So I'm, I don't know. Yeah, I think I'll go get some ground beef that day. I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. I really don't know about Monday or next week. But it'll be time to go grocery shopping again probably by Tuesday and I'll probably combine that trip with the library because we just dropped off our books except for renewing one this week the children have slowed down on their summer reading program boy they had the honeymoon period at first getting their those prizes but then they didn't stop so we need to get back on track again because I really enjoy seeing them read now Bethany's been keeping it up but the others not so And, um, except for me making them do their devotions, I have to make them do their devotions. And we are doing a Bible study in Romans. We're in Romans chapter 1. We're just taking it verse by verse. That's for Joanna, Bethany, Jesse, and Samuel. Brittany and Dalton usually aren't there, and they do their own stuff. And then I just do a Bible storybook for Gloria. But anyway, so I am on my way to the store. I'll be there in a few minutes. And whenever I find out what that haul is, or whenever I'm done shopping, I'll show you what the haul is. Oh, for desserts. I need to tell you about desserts. I want to do an orange fluff stuff. Sugar-free dessert for Friday night. I want to do a banana poke cake for Friday night because it looks really good. That's on Keisha Jagger's channel. The recipe. And then Saturday we are having the peanut butter squares. Sunday we might just have watermelon. And that's it. That's enough sugar. That'll be a sugar extravaganza. And I'm trying to lose weight and it's just not working if I keep eating the sugar. I'm trying to do the 80-20 type deal here, you know. 80 good, 20 bad. It's going to be a whole lot of 20 this weekend. But anyway, talk with you later. Bye.